Hi, I'm Andy. In this series of videos, I'm building a cedar strip canoe. In this episode, I'm going to trim the excess fiberglass cloth off the outside of the canoe, then remove the canoe from the mould, build a new cradle on top of the strong back to hold the canoe the right way up, and then replace the canoe in that cradle to start the process of preparing the inside of the canoe to receive another fiberglass coating like the outside. one area on the side of the canoe, just here, which the third layer of epoxy just wasn't quite thick enough. I don't know if I missed it completely or if it's just not wetted out quite enough, but the, the weave of the fabric is still very visible here and uh, very obvious when you feel the boat. And additionally along the shear line, that area has extended out a little bit. And there's a few areas along the shear line as well which aren't great. Those would be covered by the gunnels, but I'd rather have them better. So I'm going to start the sanding process here and see if I can smooth this off enough um, that the weave doesn't show through or if the weave starts to show through as I smooth it off in which case I'll need to apply more epoxy. I have broken through into the weave very slightly just in these little areas here so I'm going to apply another layer of epoxy over this area. The final area I'm going to do some work on is just here. This is an area where the, the cloth was folding badly and we actually cut the cloth up about 3 or 4 inches and let it lay over itself. So it's actually a double layer just for one short triangle here. The edge there is just a little bit proud of the remaining surface, of the surrounding surface. So I'm going to sand that down and again see if I hit the weave. If I hit the weave I'll fill it in with more epoxy. still a very slight ridge in this one area where the fibreglass cloth was folded, it's just the first three planks or so. So I'm going to sand it down and rework it one more time, just put another layer of epoxy over the top and then the final sanding should be completely smooth. There should be no hint that there was a fold there. It's nearly a week since fiberglass went on now, so it's all hard and ready to sand. The areas that have reworked are good as well, they've had a couple of days at the least, so they should be fine now. Um, fiberglass dust and epoxy dust is extremely hazardous, so I'm going to be fully suited up with a mask and everything else on again for this section. The purpose of sanding is to give a fine flat finish that the varnish can adhere to, 
varnish is needed because the epoxy itself is not UV resistant, so in the long run, in sunlight, the epoxy will go cloudy if it's not coated in a UV resistant varnish. So, although it's lovely to see the entire finish so shiny and clear just now, um, it's going to go sort of grey and matte finish now until the canoe's pretty much finished and ready to be varnished. Right, that's the sanding done. The outside of the canoe is basically ready for varnish now, so there's not much more to do there. And the next job is to lift it off the strong back and then remove all the mold stations from inside the canoe, build a cradle back on the strong back and lift it back on the other way up to work on the inside. Yes. And then turn, so it goes down. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then here, it should just go across there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you, are you holding it? Are you supporting it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn. Okay, hand up there so you can support it. It doesn't drop. Don't let it drop. Perfect. Excellent. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this, please do remember to click subscribe, like, leave any comments below and all the rest of it. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.